Today we are going for Akita Gyu. That is black cattle beef that's been raised in Akita. And guys, this isn't just any old beef. We're talking about grade A4, A5 beef. Now we've gone for Kobe beef before and then it's a different kind of Wagyu. Wagyu is kind of like Pokemon. There are many different kinds of Pokemon, right? There's like Pikachu, Jigglypuff, and like Magikarp. Each of those types of Pokemon they can evolve to the best versions of themselves. What we're having today is the highest evolution. I don't know, I'm pretty excited about this. You know that I love beef. So this thing right here is a certificate of the specific cow that we're eating. This in the back, that is actually the nose stamp of the cow. And every cow's nose is unique, kind of like a fingerprint. I did not know that about cow noses. This cow right here's name is Aya. We can see that its mother's name is Hiro. We see three generations of the cow's family line. We know the entire history of the cow we are eating today. And it's all in this certificate right here. And I feel so thoroughly impressed just knowing the whole family story about who she dated when she was younger, what her favorite movies were. Movies. It says that all in there. It doesn't, but it's still awesome. Oh yeah, cover that beef and butter, you dirty, dirty piece of beef. Ooh, get you all oiled up. Oh, look at that golden bubble. Oh, you like that, don't you? Yeah, rub that hot, sexy meat you sold over your body. Ooh, I like the way it sizzles. Nice and slow, you know what I like. Oh yeah, more butter, more butter. We just check, we just, ooh, look at that, look at that golden exterior, oh, get that butter everywhere, splash that butter all over you, ooh. I want all the oil, just in a bottle, I'm okay with it. <laughs> hey, hey, I like your way of thinking. Thank you. Oh, it's beautiful. That is the nicest piece of meat I've ever seen, next to my wife. Uh, 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 that's right. Kitaku, first try. Wasabi with a little bit of salt on top. Oh my god. I honestly thought nothing could be better than Kobe, and I'm actually watering up. Really? You think this is better? It's better. Oh my god. It tastes like bacon-infused magic beef. Okay, I'm like watering up. You know how much I love beef. Love this is like the moment. <laughs> It's so good. <laughs> I mean, you're not gonna like it. You should give it to me. So Martina tells me this is better than Kobe it's beef. It's so good, Ducky. Okay. Am I ready for this? I don't think. I don't think. I don't think I'm emotionally ready for this. You're ready for this. I don't think. I believe in you. Okay. I hold you my can hand fly. through this. Hold my hand through this. Go for it. You're gonna be angry. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Aya, for being so wonderful. Thank you. That Kobe, right? that Kobe beef that we I had. I know, it's like a piece of dirt. I'm so sad. <laughs> there's, there's, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> there's Kobe beef and then there's this. This is... Upsetting. I, I, I don't, okay, I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna go back. Okay, I'm gonna go back. Okay, go this food doesn't have a taste. It has an emotion. You, when when you bite into it, you don't you don't feel anything on your tongue. You feel it right here. It's like the the beef goes right here, 
and all you could feel is a mother's love <laughs> and just world peace. I love my mama. I love my mama. I love you, mama. It's so good. <laughs> Kobe beef was good, but it tasted like there was buttery veins throughout the whole piece. So when you ate it, it was like very, very butter tasting. This one has beef and then like a vein of like butter and like beef and like a vein of butter. So it has a really nice balance between the two. And the flavor of beef, like I thought I knew beef, it's its own flavor. It's its own magic, clean, tasting, well-loved beef. Thank you, Aya, for letting us eat you. Aya, you are wonderful. I was like, I didn't have a choice. Like, it's okay, Aya. Shh, don't say a word, Aya. What's amazing about this beef also is that this restaurant here owns its own farm. These are their own cows that they're breeding specifically for this meal. When I first tried Kobe beef, I lost my mind. But now that I've tried this, I just... I don't think I could ever have a regular hamburger again. I don't think I could have regular beef ever again. This has ruined me. This moment has ruined me forever. I don't know how to explain this. This is probably one of my favorite meals that I've ever had in my life. I'm a grown ass man now. This is one of my favorite meals ever. All the other stuff was amazing, but this beef, it's just, it's so good. This is so stupid good. I just finished the best beef I've ever had in my life. Guys, guys, I wish that you could experience this as well. I wish, I wish you could do this. So that's it for our food adventure program for awesome people. Guys, if you saw our Kobe beef video, I'm sad to say this is like the anti up 4,000 times better version of that video. Oh, it pains me, I'm broken. I am broken now, guys. If you wanna find out how to come to this amazing restaurant, please click on the link below. It'll lead you to our blog post. We'll tell you all about the directions how to get here. And we're definitely gonna have some delicious drool-worthy pictures that you can, you can drool over. I'm gonna cry over them. I'm gonna hug them at nighttime. Guys, if you're coming to Tokyo or you live in Tokyo, 